Thank you very much, uh, Sarah. Uh, thank you very much indeed for this very nice organization in Istanbul. We are honored and it's a pleasure having uh, you here. Um, uh, again, uh, I am the founder and chairman of Amplio Real Estate Investments, uh, which is basically a German uh, investment company focused only in Turkish real estate projects. And um, uh, we have uh, been established in 2007, uh, basically with the Golden Horn area as our focus development area. And I will go uh, quickly through um, uh, our first steps and our first project to explain also uh, how a, a typical uh, uh, development project in Istanbul is uh, going ahead in this uh, vibrant area of Golden Horn. There is an aerial view. This is always somehow uh, um, important because it shows you the situation and the oasis situation of Istanbul. I'm just, again, for everybody, I mean, we know where we are, but still to show the uh, uh, geographic location, which is surrounded by many seas, uh, Black Sea and uh, all the Marmara Sea, the, the Mediterranean. It's a geographically also important, very important location. And within this place, Istanbul is just on the tip where we are, presently we are on the uh, European side, and uh, we are speaking about this old um, uh, Constantinopolis, which was also more than 1,000 years the Roman Empire's capital. So this is another uh, view which is, in my view, uh, important for especially investors to see. Istanbul is not anymore, uh, uh, um, uh, it is very much spread. Uh, it's in a big area, which is uh, very wide, I mean over 100 kilometers, but um, one should never forget that it all began here in uh, this area with uh, so-called Constantinopolis, which was the, uh, um, and afterwards uh, with the Ottoman Empire, which continued in Turkish Republic today. And our project area is in this natural harbor um, uh, situated where uh, we have our hotel project. So this is another uh, view just to explain for our um, uh, visitors from abroad um, the location which is divided Istanbul into two parts uh, through the Bosphorus uh, waterway and uh, the Golden Horn again uh, it is just a small uh, natural harbor fed by presently fresh water coming in through Bosphorus. So this is um, uh, showing the main access, the roadways in Istanbul, uh, which is the first bridge, the Bosphorus Bridge in 1976, uh, I think it was uh, operation, opened for operation, and interconnecting the two countries for uh, cars, and the second bridge was built, I think, in 1986. Now a third bridge is coming. And uh, w uh, this uh, uh, situation now is uh, enhanced through the Marmaray, which is under the Bosphorus. Uh, we have uh, two tunnels. Uh, one is already opened with the subway, and another one is coming now for vehicles. böyle. <laughs> So this is an aerial shot, uh, important again to show the oasis situation, lots of green, lots of water, calm water, which enables you to make also sports, uh, water sports, uh, or uh, s uh, um, having the green area, you can go for stroll or uh, having bicycle ride. And um, uh, this shot was made uh, through over the uh, Bilge University, which was before a powerhouse. And uh, our hotel is again here, which is invisible, uh, thanks to our architects. I mean, this is a very harmonic with the environment. We preferred to make a more harmonic uh, project with the city uh, landscape, and uh, in order to be able also to grow with several projects. So this is again uh, another uh, view uh, showing in the uh, large extent uh, the situation of the 
uh, European side, which is the, on the other side, we have the Asian side, the Bosphorus Strait you have here. Here is the business districts with Levant and Maslak. And uh, the first bridge road, the highway, which is we called E5, is above us, and which is uh, connecting both continents. And here again, our hotel and our redevelopment area where we focused uh, f uh, presently with also housing projects. There are some shots uh, from uh, Golden Horn, which is now again re vitalized and uh, regenerated uh, through the um, uh, activities. For example, the major uh, action is here that the old slaughterhouse of Istanbul is converted to a uh, conference hall and um, uh, convention center, which is hosting several concerts and uh, exhibitions, etc., which is also our main feeder for our hotel presently. And the other ones, for example, Bilge University, which was the old um, uh, powerhouse, which is now converted into a, a university campus. This is an industrial museum from our uh, uh, business entrepreneur, Mr. Koch, church, uh, historical church, school, and uh, also one of the oldest shipyards uh, worldwide uh, in Halic, which is also now going to be converted into a uh, new uh, mixed-use project. There are, um, uh, again, some locations where these projects are, but as you see, it is very vibrant, it is living, and uh, every uh, month we are hearing about a small or big new development within this place, because it is in the middle of this uh, city, in fact, uh, an oasis where you can breathe and have uh, uh, easy traffic access and um, less stress than uh, somewhere in midst of the, uh, for example, business district. Okay, this is uh, just uh, putting also after we have built the uh, Hilton operated property, um, several other uh, investors have also now uh, followed and we have also encouraged them because to be alone in a location is not very good and uh, we are happy to have now all these hotel investments in the area which are either more or less ready or uh, under construction. And uh, this is significant because um, uh, the, uh, especially the, sorry, especially the conference uh, congress center also needs more uh, hotel beds than what we have here at the moment. This project, to mention it again, this is the old shipyard, what I have shown you today. Uh, it has more than 150,000 square meters of uh, land area to be developed uh, with several hotels, but also uh, other facilities uh, for shopping and entertainment. So these are also some um, uh, pictures about uh, what we have in the Golden Horn already. We are using it uh, uh, for recreative uh, activities or um, here the boat fest every year taking place here. Uh, we take more advantage of this area. Before it was used for industrial uh, use for leather manufacturing, iron uh, melting and uh, for the slaughterhouse, the animals which were here. Uh, so today we have uh, seen that it is, it deserves, the area deserves to be used uh, for different purpose, which is entertainment, education, also um, uh, office uh, and uh, hotels. So this is another picture showing where the fresh water is coming because the uh, natural feeding river or creek Kyatane was during the times uh, of development in Istanbul, unfortunately in many places already uh, interrupted the development, uh, the water flow. So, uh, but uh, the, the government had a very ambitious uh, project and this uh, was to bring fresh water uh, from uh, Bosphorus, which is now uh, uh, under operation since two years. So we feel already that the water is not still, it is uh, uh, moving and uh, dredging works are going on there, so that means uh, the uh, mud is taken out 
and uh, boats can enter to uh, Golden Horn in the upper area also for excursions and everything. So another quick picture, as you see, we are making here uh, uh, whatever um, uh, is the most important uh, for us is the connectivity within Istanbul. You may have experienced also the traffic, heavy traffic, lots of millions of people we have to move from A to B. And in that context, uh, the, uh, the connectivity is very important. And uh, here, this area is now lucky uh, because we have not only the highways, we have also uh, the water, uh, water surface to be used for the transportation. The central government and the municipality have now some plans to move some boats, electro uh, boats like in uh, Zurich uh, or uh, Lake Geneva here in this area for uh, also public transportation. Presently we use only water taxi, but this is a little bit inexpens I mean expensive uh, if you are not uh, as a group using this. Oh yeah, this is of course uh, like, uh, this is not like London uh, uh, tube map, but it is for Istanbul um, a, a big um, uh, development because uh, some few years ago we didn't have lots of these uh, subway and metro bus as we called and today it is growing and growing especially about this uh, central area of Istanbul. Here you see also the Marmaray, which we use. If you go to the Asian site, which I would definitely also uh, recommend to visit, um, and you should use definitely this um, underground uh, uh, service with Marmaray. You are in some minutes on the other uh, part of the city. Yeah, here again, oh, here what I have to mention uh, is the seaplane. Seaplanes are also operating from Golden Horn, middle of the city. We have there a real uh, option to fly within Turkey to holiday destinations such as Bodrum or Çeşme and uh, also nearby destinations like uh, Bozcaada which is uh, really very good because you don't have all this hassle to go to the airport and uh, with uh, uh, intensive check-in and security. It is here middle of uh, the city, you have the option now since more or less two years to fly uh, uh, to these areas. Um, the other one is the tunnel, which is also important because the tunnel connects Bosphorus with Golden Horn. It is basically uh, in it, uh, just two tunnels, uh, in between they are 300, 400 meters. So in seven, eight minutes you are either in Dolmabahce Palace or you are in the uh, Golden Horn area. So now I am coming to our first project which we can see also part of the urban regeneration project because the area was not considered to be a hotel location as we purchased the land here because the, uh, s uh, the area was, as I said before, used more for the industrial and um, for the uh, other purposes than recreation or hotels. And uh, we have made this courageous step. Why? Because, uh, as I explained before, in Istanbul there are not many uh, places uh, in the heart of the city which is easy accessible, which has culture, which is nearby to business, but also to the uh, touristical and cultural attractions. Plus, it is next to the water. Water, Istanbul means for us water. We are surrounded by water. And if we are next to the water, not only for transportation, also for life quality, it is a great asset. As we have uh, started this project, like always, we made architectural um, uh, competitions. Never we go a project without architectural competition. And uh, there uh, we were very lucky to uh, meet with the Teje architects. I'm saying lucky because they are, like us, very passionate uh, for that what they do. Sometimes also they, they say, no, gentlemen, we cannot do this. Uh, and uh, we have uh, developed the uh, uh, Golden Horn Hotel. Now, um, I would like to give the word to our architects uh, simply because still they are for us the owners of the property and not we because they are the uh, people who gave the spirit to the building. 
And uh, for this, I'm inviting uh, Jem Bey uh, to the stage in order to continue so I can rest and criticize from the uh, bottom to the some points. Thank you very much. After this very nice and long present, uh, contextual uh, explanation and informative uh, entry uh, to this project, I think uh, there is nothing left too much about how important uh, the location uh, of this hotel and how uh, this unique was a this project was a unique opportunity for our office to deal with and to design something for this specific part of city, Istanbul. Um, I'm grateful to the clients, again, uh, before starting uh, to this presentation, to Amplio, <coughs> because uh, the way they uh, realized this project was a competition. And uh, it is, for us, uh, one of the best uh, ways to make some achievements and establish uh, unique architectural uh, examples, as which, which is the case in other parts of the world. When we look at the iconic projects in uh, Europe and in other parts of the world, mostly, not, not all of them, but uh, maybe 7 to 80 percent of such projects are uh, the outcome of such architectural competitions. So this was again an um, invited competition. So we are two partners. Uh, we've been in operation uh, more than 20 years uh, with my partner Tulin. And before, before jumping into the project, uh, I wanted to begin this, uh, the, uh, this first slide, which represents the variation of the scales and the content of the projects we are dealing with. So it's not basically uh, projects on about housing or touristic uh, investments, but also education, religious buildings like the mosque uh, here to the left of the slide, high schools, uh, campus projects, university campus projects, and culture centers. S and uh, we also uh, get some awards out of this uh, performance uh, of the office, which give us uh, much more uh, strength to continue on. And uh, when uh, we were called for or invited for the competition uh, with other uh, five teams, I think there were six teams invited. Uh, the context was quite, uh, the, maybe the, it was the first uh, difficulty, but also the opportunity for us. Why? Because that introduction showed us how many different, how the character of the site is quite uh, interesting in terms of its historical settings, topography, the existence of water, and being at the crossroads of this uh, big metropole. Here uh, it is the general uh, aerial view of the site prior to the design. As we see, uh, it's mostly the character is defined by unplanned settlements, which is the case in Istanbul. Maybe 70% of the fabric is almost unplanned. And now there is this great effort uh, to deal with this situation. So. The plot was surrounded by uh, the neighbors, sorry, around. The reason I began my speech from the context rather than the hotel itself uh, has, a, has a, a reason, because the context uh, made this project happen, not the program itself. It's basically that. There is this very dense area with the rate of maybe, I think, 4%, four, four which is uh, 3 plus 5, 4% percent, percent building density, which is very difficult to deal with. If you are to establish something, and if you also have restrictions in terms of being in the middle of a historical site and uh, 
dealing with the silhouette of the city at this very specific moment, facing m maybe the most uh, important monumental uh, buildings by Sinan and other uh, great uh, Ottoman architects in front of you. Uh, then uh, this, the question was how to deal with the density and then secondly also how to deal with this topography. There was this level difference of 20 to 21 meter between one po uh, point uh, to the other. It was a very steep slope. So you, and you had to locate the building in, front, in the middle of this very dense uh, urban fabric. And the site was like that before. There was this retainment walls, and uh, it was left for years like this. And secondly, behind the hotel site, there was this silhouette with the buildings of varying heights. So how you could put a building in, front, in, in the middle of this context? That was the question. And uh, well, th there were a couple of approaches like putting a high-rise building or a monoblock like we have in, normal, uh, in the first Hilton Hotel in Istanbul, a monolith uh, block, or to try to find something in, th something in between, a uh, sort of hybrid solution. Not a tall building, not a monoblock building, regarding the context. So we chose the third uh, alternative to mass the program uh, by establishing of little blocks of varying heights. And being in harmony with this texture was quite an issue for us. And also the uh, issue of view. When you are dealing with an hotel, and when you have uh, this unique uh, horizon in front of you, uh, mo you prefer to have most of your uh, rooms to face uh, this nice uh, panorama. But obviously, you will also have some of your program uh, located in different parts, facing different orientations. But our preference, uh, or in the design, we achieved to face most of the rooms, maybe 70% of the rooms, uh, to face uh, the view of uh, Golden Horn. And this slide shows how uh, difficult to access the site because of the slope. And it was a very rational, uh, typical floor plan uh, with uh, the regulations of Hilton of different uh, size. I'm not getting into too much into that. Uh, this, this slide shows how what the, the, the topography, the character of the topography. Here you have the neighborhood, and then you have uh, the government building here, and the, the, the difference is almost 20 meters, maybe more than that. And then that's why some of the rooms had to face uh, the neighborhood's be the buildings behind, and the retainment wall. wall. So we did not prefer to fill this gap in, but also uh, but to locate some of the rooms uh, at this location with a special treatment of landscape, uh, like vertical gardens. So the, those rooms now are facing this uh, vertical garden. Uh, this is one of the initial images of the hotel uh, after the competition, showing how uh, it was how the mess and the program of uh, 210 rooms in this very uh, sort of squeezed, compact site. 